You can see my adhesive for the uh, cargo door is held up all week. So that's been a good thing. No panels have fallen down. I think that's going to be a good, a good uh, repair. And we've added cargo netting. I don't know that I've had these on video before. So I figured today I would talk about these baskets and these cargo nets. First product we've got is an M Design metal basket. It's 16 inches long, 6 inches wide, and 6 inches tall. And I'll put a Gatorade bottle in it, and you can get an idea of size comparison there. All right. I got six of these off of Amazon, and they retailed at $64.99. And the way I envision using them, not positive yet, not where I'm going to put them. I'm not even going to sure I'm going to use all six of them yet. But I uh, got some fender washers from Lowe's. These are number 10 fender washers and so uh three sixteenths by one and one quarter and we'll put a screw on them and the washer will mount uh, pinch them and it'll mount it up to the a wall something like that next up we've got two baskets sold as a pair on amazon i'll post a link in the description below and the two of them sell for 34.99 they're powder coated metal wire baskets and they have the little hooks that will help them mount onto the wall. These are swivel hooks. The longest one with the Gatorade bottle in it measures 30 inches long, 5 inches tall, and 3 and a quarter inches wide. So it is taller than it is wide. The shorter one is 23 inches long. It is 3 inches high and it is four inches wide and i'll put a gatorade bottle in it so you can see how it stands in relationship to that and here's the two different types of baskets that we ordered side by side so these are powder coated but the te and they're gray but the texture on them is very uh rough these are i'm sure they're powder coated they're black the wire is a little bit thinner the holes are smaller, so your, your squares, these are larger, and these are smaller. These baskets are deeper and pretty much wider, but shorter length. They also have a handhold if you want to make them where they're like a drawer. And these are smooth black uh, powder coat, where these are have a textured powder coat on them. Next we have C2C Auto. These are 15 by 15 nets. That are, they stretch to 30 by 30 inches. There are three of them for $9.99 on Amazon. This is one that is not installed yet. This is one that is installed. It is stretched out. The, the, the cord seems to be pretty good. The hole here, I'm not particularly pleased with how big the hole is. Um, I've got them up here temporarily. I'm using uh, teacup hooks that I bought, and they're hooked there. I also have some other knobs from another net I'll get to in a minute. Then we have two heavy-duty trunk envelope cargo nets that are 45 by 16. These are actually double thickness, so they're like a basket that you can put things into. Uh, I've got two put a screw or something to hold this up so it won't be sagging down. I bought two of these to surround this shelf and be able to hold blankets, pillows, clothing, things like that up here on the shelf. I like them. The, the gaps aren't too big. They are stretchy. They have hooks that you can install on them in the ends, but you don't have to. Um, this, this end, I don't have the hooks installed. I just got them hooking onto the teacup hooks there on this end i've got them installed so that they can hook on to this bar here the two of them together sell for 9.99 and so with our five foot long shelf one wouldn't quite fit it but two will wrap around really nice and do some overlapping to keep things on the shelf as we drive down the road then we have the idea pro cargo net it also is double thickness so that you can put things inside it's like a cargo net basket 
There's another cargo net Idea Pro cargo net basket uh, installed. These are 35 by 12. Uh, they sell for $10.95 each. And uh, have hooks on the ends. Overall, we got these nettings for versatility. Until you get out on the road and actually use the trailer and start putting things in it and seeing where you want things, I don't know how you predict where everything is going to go unless you're going to build in fixed cabinets and you just go with that but we don't have a lot of fixed cabinets i bought i built these in but that's it and so we have a lot of versatility but my concern is making the trailer nose heavy with all the storage in the nose of the trailer so we've got to start looking at versatility and weight distribution and being able to store what we need but not uh, overstore a lot of stuff that we don't need.